Hi, this is Raven. I created this video for subscriber MacAttack, who has watched a previous video called Controlling a Convoy that I did. Um, and he messaged me just to say, um, well, he had two questions. First question was, can you use different vehicle types in the convoy? Uh, which is easy to answer. Yes, you can. You can have whatever vehicle you want and a mixture of different types of vehicle. Um, and the second question was, is it possible to make a convoy reactive? So he wants the convoy, if there's a enemy in their path or in their area, he wants the convoy to stop, um, disembark, neutralize the enemy if they can, um, then get back into the vehicles and carry on to their designated waypoint. So, um, firstly, sorry, Mac Attack, for the delay in uploading. I've been super busy um, with just life, and also um, the time I've spent on this request is quite significant. Um, it's been a bit of a pig, to be honest. Um, it's definitely the hardest thing I've had to look into. So, I've ha I have got a solution, um, finally, after... Uh, I've lost count how many times I've sort of tried something and it didn't work. So I've got something here. Um, it's a little bit involved to set up and it's by no means perfect. I think I did um, quite a few test runs and out of all those test runs it only failed once and that's just armour shit in itself. So there was no reason behind it. Um, so this will work and this will cover what you want to do. Um, but just bear in mind it's it's not ideal. So without any further delay, we'll sort of show you how it works. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just quickly show you what's going to happen. So here we have the convoy. It's two vehicles, completely different type of vehicles, just to show that it will work. Um, each vehicle has a driver um, and two extra guys in each one that will get out of the vehicle and react. Um, I have a guy in here who's running Zeus just so I can place a CSAT guy down. So I'm just going to stick a, a rifleman down. Now I've got a trigger in this corner so you'll see me walk over and into this corner. And I, I'll hopefully remember to crouch so that when I place the CSAT guy he doesn't see me. That will release the convoy and they'll move from there over here. So we'll go right across in front of us. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the, the CSAT guy down, wait till the convoy reacts, and then I'm going to delete the CSAT guy, um, which is the equivalent of him dying in game. And the reason I'm going to do that is I've had it in tests where they've had a firefight for like 10 minutes. And, you know, and then the CSAT guy ends up killing all of them. It's just so, obviously, that could happen. But you need to sort of take that in consideration into your mission. Um, and we'll sort of cover how we sort of set it up. But just so you see, uh, I wonder why I'm doing that. And I'm gonna, it's going to have to be a pretty quick sort of turnaround so I don't miss the convoy. Okay, so here we go. Turn off Zeus. Make sure I'm crouched. Go into this corner. Convoy's going. Go to Zeus again. Get a CSAT rifleman. And we're going to stick him down now. So, so they reacted. They're out of this vehicle and they're out. And I've just deleted him. So see these are out of this vehicle and they're out of the vehicle. And they started to engage. Or that these didn't, but I didn't really give them a chance to. Oh, wakey wakey! Now they're in, now they're engaging. Just checking it's clear. Getting back in. And then off the convoy goes.
So there you go. It works. Um, you know, occasionally you'll get armor glitches, but there's literally nothing you can do about that. Um, but that's your solution. And I'll just sort of show you how to um, how to implement it. Right, so I've gone into editor just to show you how it's done. Um, firstly, you can see this um, very large trigger. Um, if I go into map view, just see how big it is. So here's the road that the waypoint and the convoy goes along. So I've centralized the trigger on that road. And basically within this trigger, um, this is like the detection zone. So if there's an enemy within it, the convoy will react. If the enemy's outside it, they won't. So think of this as their sort of field of vision. Um, now obviously you can extend it. So if I just open it up, it's 50. 150 is obviously just the length, but 50 wide is the important bit. Um, and I don't know why, but this 50 is actually the equivalent of 100 uh, meters in actual the game. So if you look on this map, you've got these little squares. The, each square is 100 by 100, which is the same um, distance as 50 on the trigger. So for some reason, it's half. Um, so you can extend it, so you can have sort of, at the moment you've got 100 mil, 100 meters, sorry, uh, field of vision, you can extend it to 200 or 500 if you want them to sort of pick up anything from a far away. Just bear in mind, the bigger the sort of trigger area, the longer it's going to take for the guys to get back into the vehicle and potentially um, they might get lost or stuck in a, a wall or a bush or a god knows what but you know they will do in armor so just bear that in mind so I, I would try and keep it sort of um, sort of this sort of size um, maybe slightly bigger it's up to you but just um, I don't think that's sort of unreasonable sort of 100 mil field of vision so if we come back out of that just go into the trigger um, and on activation it just calls up this script which I will put a copy to my Dropbox and I'll put the script in the Dropbox and I'll even um, post this mission as like a sort of demo um, in my Steam account so that you can just sort of go and download it and have a play and just see how it goes. Um, at the end of the waypoint, or this last waypoint, we've got this trigger, and this trigger you'll have to um, just copy and paste um, for each waypoint. So it's quite simple. Um, and ba so basically, we'll open it up, and the condition of this trigger is the soldiers are basically either dead or in the vehicle. So not alive s2 or s2 in v1 and it's the same for all the all the four soldiers so s2 and s3 are in vehicle 1 v1 s4 and s5 are in vehicle 2 yeah so bottom line is that convoy won't move to this waypoint unless um, the four soldiers are either dead or in the vehicles so we go up to the actual vehicles. Now how I've set these up is important. So I'll just get the guys out of the vehicles, get the driver out and the two guys and get the driver out and the two guys. Now what you'll notice is the drivers are linked so this guy is under this guy's command and that's really important if you don't do that they won't move together but these guys are completely separate so all four of these guys that get out are separate so they're not linked to each other and they're not linked to the drivers and they're not linked to any groups they're all separate that's important as well um, believe me I've tried all kinds of ways where they're all linked to each other or all, all under one command 
or all under these two under the driver, these two under that driver, it just doesn't work. So this is the only way it works. In addition to that, what you want to do is bump the skill up on the drivers to 100. The reason for that is they just can't seem to drive the vehicle properly as I'm sure you've witnessed before and they'll end up running you guys over just by doing random stuff so bump their skill up um, and it depends what you want from your mission and your convoy if you don't want your convoy to get destroyed and you want them to still sort of pursue um, sort of persevere um, then maybe it's worth turning the damage off on your guys turning the damage off on the trucks um, so that the drivers and the trucks remain alive and these guys can die or whatever um, but if you're happy to you know have the convoy potentially immobilized then just leave it as is and that's that's pretty much it so all you've got to do is do your next waypoint copy this trigger and copy the area and sort of just keep going with it um, so I hope that was helpful Mac Attack um, and I hope it helps others as well all right good luck